Imagine you are far away from your computer and you have to edit an important life-changing PDF document. What do you do? PDF elements have saved my butt so many times I can't even count. It allows you to edit, modify, add notes, add signature or stamps to any PDF document and guess what? It's free to download. Absolutely free. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and use some of the features PDF element has to offer. So let's get started. Now this video is for iPhone and iPad users but PDF element is available on Windows, Mac and Android. To install PDF Element Pro, open the App Store, search for PDF Element Pro, make sure you select the Pro version and install it. Now let me show you how to edit a PDF document. Click on T at the top and now you can edit or add text to a PDF document. You can also change the font, the font size, text color and text alignment. For the creatives out there, I'm glad to let you know that you can draw on a PDF document using PDF Element Pro. And to do this, select the pen tool and draw with your finger or stylus. PDF Element Pro supports Apple Stylus and you can change the color of the pen and if you make a mistake, you can always use the eraser tool to clean it off. Another interesting thing you can do is to create a text box. And to do that, it's pretty simple. Click on T that is inside the box and now you can change the color of the box, change the color and size of the text inside the box and also you can move the text box anywhere you want on the page. The next tool I would like to show you is Text Callout. Now Text Callout is really important especially when you're collaborating with other members of your team. You can type and leave a comment in the Text Callout box. Another thing you can do is add a sticky note. Also, if you like, you can also change the color of the sticky notes. Oh, I almost forgot. You can also add shapes into a PDF document. Click on the shape you want to add, select the board color, board thickness, opacity, and when you're done, move the shape to the position you want to place it on the PDF document. Adding picture or pictures is also a breeze. Click on this icon, select the picture you want to add. You can also resize the image and place it anywhere you want on the document. Now to highlight the text, click on this at the top, click on T which stands for text and select the text you want to highlight. You can also change the highlight color if you want. For strike through, click on S with a line in the middle which stands for strike through. Select the text and that's it. Now the same goes for underlining. Click on U and select the text you want to underline. You can also change the color of the strike through and underline and if you make a mistake, just click on the back key and that gets rid of it. Now another thing I do regularly is add my signature to a PDF document and it's so easy to do using PDF Element Pro. To do this, scroll to the right, click on the signature icon, draw your signature. You can also change the color and thickness and when you're done, click on done. Now you only need to do this once. The next time you need to add your signature, just click on the signature icon and it brings it up. You can also increase or reduce the size of your signature and place it anywhere you want on the document. Now that you know how to add your signature to a document, you can also add stamps and there are a lot of them to choose from. Click on the stamp you want and just like signatures, you can adjust the size and position of the stamp. Now with PDF Element Pro, you can also protect a sensitive document with a password. And to do that, click on the three dots at the top right corner of your screen, click on set password, enter the password you want twice and that's it. Now with connections, you can upload and retrieve PDF documents you saved in the cloud. I use Google Drive a lot and to retrieve a saved file, select the Google account you have your document saved on. Now you need to give PDF Element Pro access, it's a trusted app and it's safe. And now you can see all the documents saved on your Google Drive. Tap on the document you want to download on your smartphone and that's it. Go back to your files and you'll find the documents you just downloaded from the cloud. Now that you're done modifying the PDF documents, let me show you how to take it to the cloud. Now click on the three dots at the top right corner of your screen, click on upload and select the cloud service you want to use. In this scenario, I'll select the Google Drive option and click on upload. Now like I said earlier, PDF Element supports Apple Pencil and that will come in handy for drawing, scribing or signing a document. So guys, I've shown you how to grab a PDF document from the cloud, modify a PDF document, add text, add signature and stamps, password a PDF document and save it back to the cloud. Now I hope you found this video to be useful. If you own an iPad or iPhone and you work on a lot of PDF documents, you definitely need to get PDF Element Pro. It takes mobile productivity to another level. You can download this application for free. The link will be in the description of this video. So we've come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you found this video to be useful, hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching once again and I will see you guys soon. Follow, signing out.